All right, hello. So this is Rubicon Ranger, and a few of you have been requesting to see a video of this particular build that I've done. This is the Bipedal Mech. I don't have a name for it. It's just called Bipedal Mech right now. Uh, this is the world file for it that I'm in right now, and I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of some of the features of it and just a quick rundown of the robot in general. So first thing you're going to want to do if you're loading this world is walk up to your button panel here and from left to right we have the open sequence the closing sequence we've got our interior lights and then we've got spotlights so those are the lights that light up this arch here and you know those turn on on their own so you don't have to worry about those for now just hit the open sequence which is the very first button now you're not going to want to hit any more of these while the sequence is running otherwise uh, things can get messy they're meant to run one after the other so and in any minute here, these doors will pop down and slide open all slick-like. Oh yeah, look at that opening. All right, and just about as the doors are going in through the slots that I've got in the walls here, it should start to raise the mech up. There we go. Oh yeah, let's just watch it rise out of the ground. <laughs> I, I like that I've done this with it. I think that this is an appropriate uh, manner of uh, bringing it up out of the ground like this because it's just so, like something you'd see in a movie or a video game or something along those lines like uh, I don't know there's quite a few um, like animes and video games where you know like whatever it is like the mech comes up out of the ground so I thought it'd be fun to do the same thing all right so our warning lights have uh, stopped and uh, our mech is now illuminated but uh, before I hop in the mech, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give us a bit more room to walk around. This is really just meant to be a, uh, a, a way to showcase this particular build. Um, it's kind of meant to come out of the ground, and then you're meant to like pick it up with copy-paste and you know move it to where you want it and put it down. Um, but for our purposes, I want to walk it right off the pad and onto this, onto some flat ground. Now, after I added the turning a while back, you'll notice if you look in the description, I've added... Uh, turning to the mech. So now it can actually turn going forwards and backwards. So let's just give you a quick demonstration of that. And uh, let's uh, let's keep the color theme consistent. Alright. Sorry if I'm wasting your time. I'll be done in just a second. Alright. Okay. Wow. Nice white platform. All right, so let's get in the cockpit and I'll show you some of the controls. All right, so at the hot bar on the bottom, you're gonna notice it's full of stuff. So what does what? Well, one opens up missile pod doors on our arms. Is it, I'm starting at the bottom here. So, uh, and once those are open, we can fire some rockets. Awesome. So you're going to want to open those up before you use the uh, rockets. Guns are on the arms. Now, as far as torso mobility goes, you have up and down. There's a U-bracketed lower torso and a, a bracketed upper torso that fits over it. And then there's a joint at the connection between the torso and the hips. And it allows you full 360 mobility here with the torso. Isn't that nice? So, alright, let's get on to the walking features. So, along the bottom you have 4 and 5, which are left and right step respectively, and 6, which toggles walking mode. So if you hit 6 and then you hit 4 or 5, you'll take a step forward with either your left or right foot, depending on if you hit 4 or 5, but then if you hit 6, it will you'll go and you'll, instead of taking another step and standing still, you'll take another step forward and you'll continue to walk until you hit 6 again. So let's do that. Let's first take a single step so let's take a left step so I'm gonna I'm gonna hit four so that's my left step button so we've taken a left step off our platform ah okay off that jiggly platform so hopefully we won't fall over so this mech has become a little bit more unstable it used to be a little bit more rigid but ever since I added the turning it's a little bit more wobbly I might do more to fix that later but for now I'm pretty happy with it so all right let's turn on walking mode so I have just I'm gonna hit six just hit six. So let's start with our right foot this time. So I'm going to hit five. So now I'm going to take a step forward with my right foot. Whoa. <laughs> a bit wobbly. All right. And now instead of standing still, 
he's going to take a step with the left foot, and he's going to continue to alternate back and forth between the right and the left until you hit six again. So let's let him take another few steps. Let's let's get out into the uh, the middle of this platform here. All right, there's a lock. Sometimes the feet don't lock down. You ended up uh, you end up eating dirt. So it's not perfect, but uh, th I hope this build inspires other people to uh, take on the challenge of making complicated mechanical walkers. All right, well that's probably enough walking for now. So let's hit six again. And in his very next cycle, he is going to stand up. There we go. All right, we're in a standing position. Hopefully I can make it all the way through this video without us face planting. Okay, so let's f showcase the uh, turning. So you'll see seven and eight, both are on and off. Um, you can toggle either one of those for right and left stepping. So if, say I want to step to my right, I'll hit A. If I want to step to my left, I'll hit seven. So let's take a step to the right. So I'm going to hit 8, and now I'm going to turn on my walking again, because this only can happen during um, walking or reverse mode. So that's 6 or 9. So I'll talk about reverse later, but let's just take a step forward for now. So I'm going to turn on 6, so now we're in walking mode, and I'm going to take a left step forward with 4. All right. Foot's going to lock to the ground. There we are, and then the legs in a cup open, and there we go. There's our right turn. So our legs twisted, and now if you look at the joint at the back here, this is how I'm providing the torque to get this whole thing to lift and twist once it's. There we go. Yep, just like that. Originally, that the rotor and the hip just could not handle it. All right, now he's gonna switch over. Okay, let's turn off walking mode. So on his next available step, oh, you know what? I forgot to turn off turning mode. So this is actually a good point. Your mech's going to continue to turn until you toggle off that particular turning type mode. So I've just turned it off, and I've also turned off walking mode, so he's going to come to a standstill and lock his feet. All right, so now let's showcase the backing up and the left hand turn. So you can also turn backing up. Now backing up is its own feature. It's a whole separate set of timer blocks. Um, so you have to wait until you've come to a standstill in order to activate it. Um, you're going to activate it with 9, and you're always going to step back with your right foot first, in this case. So, let's turn on a turning block. Let's turn on 7, which is my left foot. So I'm going to turn with that, and hopefully this will get me back in the direction I was originally going. So let's hit 9, and now 9 normally you just back up just the way you would if you were walking forward. But this time we're going to, and you, the, you can use the turning with either forward or backward, so let's hit 9. And there we go. Comes back with the right foot. Now that's not the turning foot. Seven and eight are just which leg twists. So seven is left leg twist, eight is right leg twist. So now we're going to come back with that foot. A little wobbly there. You have no idea, I'm cringing right now because th some of this stuff is a little sketchy. But it works. Oh, oh. Saved. All right. So his second step, he got a little bit fumbled up. So you might want to only take one step backwards turning at a time. So let's put our uh, our friend back up on his feet here. Just kind of smash him into the ground. And uh, hopefully that will uh, get him sorted out. Maybe he'll lock one of his feet. Let me quickly tur hop in here and oh, turn off uh, turning mode. So that is seven. And then we're going to turn off backing up mode by hitting nine again. And on his next step backwards, instead of continuing to step backwards. Oh, there we go. That was the end of it there. All right, so he's come to a standstill again. So that was backing up. All right. So, almost took a spill there, but I didn't. That's all good. Still good. <laughs> Alright, so let's look at some of the other features. So that's him walking around. Um, you've already seen the weapon system. You've already seen the torso. So let's just show you some of the things that you could do with the second toolbar. So the second toolbar is pretty simple. We've got leg height. It just shrinks your, uh, your feet down. Now, it'll work at any length. So you can use stubby legs or long legs, whichever you prefer. And two, if I hit two, will cause you to crouch. 
So it doesn't matter uh, where you are. Let's look, extend our legs again. You know, crouch, you're going to want to do either of these from a standing position. Otherwise, you will probably take a spill. Um, you're going to want to try to do these things in order. So a lot of the stuff you got to wait till you're standing still to do again. Try to stick it one mode at a time. Now, three and four are your um, right and left leg locks or for your feet. So the landing gear on your right and left legs are attached to those commands. And then five toggles both. So if your feet are ever not locked, you can either lock them or unlock them. And that way you can potentially save yourself from falling over. So this works on terrain as well. It's just a little bit more dicey. So let's hop out and see how he fares on some ground. So let's throw him down here on the ground. Now it is nice because it is fairly stable. So, you know, initially he'll land and, you know, it's not a uh, perfectly flat surface, but he's okay. It's pretty st sturdy. Not as sturdy as it used to be before I added turning, but still pretty sturdy. So let's hop back in. And let's lock our landing gear because they're currently not locked. So let's hit five. All right, both feet are locked. And let's just start walking. So I'll hit six and then I'll hit four. And we'll ride off into the mountains in our mech. Yeehaw, look at that. Not a bad walking animation. <laughs> if I do say so myself. So this thing was a total pain in the ass to make. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, whatever you may use it for. Um, I'd love to see people come up with uh, better, uh, you know, armaments for it. Or uh, just, you know, some armor or some details. It can support a little bit more weight. Um, it's pretty slow and shaky. But it can handle quite a bit more weight on it. Especially on the legs. It'd probably do fine. So, uh... I'd love to see you guys what you guys can do with it. Feel free to modify it. Uh, just link me in the description, and you can use the uh, the skeleton for whatever you want. I'm hoping to come up with some more mechs later, although no promises. I'm trying to make something that's a little bit faster, because I heard some people uh, calling for uh, a faster mech, but it might take some time, so we will see. Anyway, enjoy. I will be around. Uh, put some comments in the description, or put some comments under the. Uh, workshop page and I'll respond once I have time. Anyway, have a good day everyone. Rubicon Ranger out.